Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I would uh, build a new base uh, for the challenge. I kind of was talking a little bit about it yesterday and sort of the things I wanted to accomplish with it and uh, kind of the specs and maybe even the material. Uh, uh, so, without further ado, let's just get started here. So I'm going to place a, uh, a base core block. I'm going to do something in the console here though and I'm going to say uh, SI off and that will uh, turn off structural integrity which will uh, allow me not to uh, have this collapse as I'm trying to build it, which would be uh, nice. Either that or I could build it in space, but I'd rather be in the, the sunlight, to be honest. So sounds sounds like a good thing to me. So, all right. So this is going to be one wall right here, and everything's going to be kind of measured out to set this up. So the first thing I want to do is figure out uh, farm plots and hangar doors. Um, and I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to do a little something with the shaping on this, too. And I was thinking a little bit about the solar panels I wanted to get on here as well. So it's going to be a pass-through hangar type of base. Uh, no fluff. Uh, everything's going to be right around the hangar area, including uh, I wanted 54 grow plots in here as well. So quite a bit of specifications. Um, right now, I'm not really going to turn on uh, symmetry at all, uh, I don't think, on this build. I don't think it's really needed. Um, or it would just screw me up, I think. Maybe. We'll see. So I'm um, just set up kind of a wall here. And uh, next thing I want to do is uh, start measuring out the farm plots. Um, now there's going to be another hangar door out that way. So this is going to stretch across the base. But I don't exactly know how long the base is going to be quite yet. So we're going to find that out. Um, so I want, I want one uh, row over here. How about two? Let's just make it a little bit bigger. And we'll start the grow plots right in this section here um, and I'm kind of using these to measure with so I wanted to make sure that we had 54 grow plots in here let's try to do a chunk of six I can hold down another key and do this all at once but uh, okay so nine so we're at 27 so we're halfway there we just need another nine I'll just do six at a time here that's five sure this is right okay so that would be six and we need three more if I didn't have if I didn't do that structural integrity thing all this would have collapsed on me trying to build this up okay so let me just make sure we got nine 18 27 uh, and let's see uh. <laughs> all right uh, hold on there's, a, there's an easier way to check this how many grow plots do I have 54. Perfect. Okay, so that's uh, that's what I wanted there. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to come out one block, and then this is going to be the wall. And then we're going to need a wall right here that comes down, I think, to that height. Just put in another row here. And I did decide to use regular concrete as the base material. Now, a lot of these blocks will be replaced uh, as, as things move forward here, but uh, for now... Concrete will be the uh, the base material. It's uh, relatively strong. It's stronger than steel. Um, probably, I don't know if it's cheaper than steel, but yeah, it's not expensive. All right, so there's our uh, there's our farm right off to the side, and our two hangar doors, which should line up, and that would be the uh, the total length of the base. All right, so the next part here is down below the farm plots. I wanted to get in uh, storage and uh, constructor alley basically so let me, um, let me grab some of this stuff let's get rid of that we don't need that anymore I'm gonna just kind of pre-place some of these around the area and see how this is gonna fit so we'll let's put a constructor there and there and I definitely want to leave a space or maybe even two how about three let's here let's well yeah I think three blocks, three blocks between. That'll uh, allow for the storage to work out a little bit better, plus uh, like a controller, um, container controllers right on the sides of either one of these. So a little bit similar to the other thing that I uh, did in the last video or, or that test uh, model. I just wanted to try to do this a little better than what I was doing, doing that one at. And it was pretty quick. So, okay. And this is actually 
sort of working out all right so we got constructor alley six constructors we got room for our storage controllers not much room in the corner here um, now it's also going to need like a, a spot in here for a couple furnaces potential shield generators uh, fuel tanks all that other fun stuff too so this is just part of it okay so we got that set up um, one other uh, thing I was going to do too is just have all these 320k controllers and not 640s uh, for the compatibility with vanilla okay so we're kind of like one block off on this side versus the other side but that's pretty minor there everything else is oh you know I really am off one block look at that I had two blocks to the wall on this side and only one block here that would fix that so yeah let's fix it right now let's not screw around with this could have copied and pasted it but I don't think that would be all that much faster since there wasn't much here to copy and paste okay so is that lining up yep and this can all go away put a wall here line that up okay so now now it doesn't quite come out right either so I just kind of wanted to get the spacing right on this part um, it's got a little bit of room on this side I'm just trying to think if there's anything worthwhile that could be put there I guess it's a two by two area I could have like a eighth piece maybe if you had like uh, or a ninth piece I should say if you had uh... yeah let's try that let's see how that works out okay so now we got to build out a bunch of storage controllers here now the ground level is going to be actually right here so I don't mind having these uh, extensions go into the ground at all and they can, can kind of consume this lower area um, I just don't want them on the outside wall and I'm not sure exactly where that outside wall is going to be yet either so but we'll leave a hole right there to fit some other part in I'm pretty sure the outside wall is going to go beyond this point here so we'll fill in as much of this as we can with uh, container extensions we got to link this up oh we're not going to be able to link that up if I put those there okay it's all right and this could be filled in right here and probably even on the top so I'm just trying to be as condensed as possible here Sorry, 256. Um, let's take it in another row here. And let's see, what does that do for us? 304, okay, two more. Perfect. That fits quite nicely, actually. All right, so we got one controller in so now we should be a nice 320 there let's do the next one uh, all these are going to probably be a little bit different from one another i'm going to try to keep them as uniform as possible but you gotta you gotta divide them up with a, a filler block in between them otherwise you're gonna have a lot of problems or basically just won't work so what are we at so far on this one 200k um now we're going to need a row across the top here too so let's let's do as many of those as we can right now so 240 and then we got we're going to have a dividing line here where the we're going to need more storage on that side too and we got farm plots above it so I'm running out of room here a little bit um no wait 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 we got all this space here too and I just soon leave that one not a container extension so where should the rest of these be hidden at? Where are we at? 264. So we're, yeah, we're going to need some more for sure. I guess I'm going to use this row here for now. Just make sure it doesn't touch the other uh, controller there. 320. Get rid of one. 312. Okay, so that came out pretty nicely again. All right, um, next one. Let's 
going to be problematic, isn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of that and that and put those two here and here. Make sure we didn't screw it up. Okay, we're still at 320. So next one, this is... Uh, oh, wait, I can't even go below it either, can we? Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of that one. So we're going to be a little, a little shy on this one again. Let's put one maybe there. Okay. 320. You know, yeah. I'm going to set myself up for a little bit of disaster here, but hopefully it's not too bad. You can put one there and there and there and there, but we then we have to have that space. To there. Yeah, it's starting to it's starting to kind of push into the other three that I got to fit in this area, which probably isn't going to work out so well. I might have to go another row back on this, which is probably okay. Maybe I should reformat some of these a little bit if I'm going to do that. Um, well, what are we at? 60. So we can put one in these two spots. And then uh, let's get rid of that one as well. So we can put one here. It's going to make this one smaller again at 312. Uh, let's, just, um, let's just extend this back another row, I think, would be a good thing. So then I can get rid of some of these rows here and make this work out a little bit nicer I think because it takes a little bit of playing around with this but not too much okay 320 again I do like to sometimes remove one and make sure I didn't go over that way you can kind of ensure you're exactly the right number of controllers Okay, so we're going out to that row there. This one can um, now pretty much fill in all of that. 232. And since we're just going out another row, I might fix up those uh, existing ones as well. Put another 9 right there. 304, so we need two more. Let's just pop them up here for now. All right, next. Let's get rid of some stuff down below. And take you out to about here. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. And back here. I'm trying to be efficient here, but it keeps on. I right, keep on screwing up the uh, mouse motion here. Eight. Still getting pretty pretty tight in this area here. Let's uh let's pull three of these from this side so we can put them here instead. We'll add three somewhere. Let's get rid of that one, put it there, these over here. 56. It takes a little bit to fit all this stuff in there. Um, here, I'm going to move some around a little bit. Let's, uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave that one. And let's pull that one, put it here. One there for the other. That probably didn't do much, did it? No, 264. Hmm. Oh, across the front here. I forgot about that. So let's add three there. 
296. Pretty tight. Just trying to be efficient too. I'm trying not to use more blocks than necessary for the structure. Um, every little thing will help it uh, be cheaper basically and spawn in quicker. And that's kind of the, the point. Except I kind of want to shift a lot of these over um, a little bit. So, okay, let's let's do that a second. Let's uh, take away, that was six, seven. So let's put seven of those here. Um, and then we can uh, let's pull out some of these here. And that was a uh, that was nine. So let's put nine in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So how, how's our got a three twenty there? 320 there. 320 there. Okay, we got some extra room in here too. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, move like another row out so I got more room on the other side. So we took out four, two, three, four. We should be at 320. as far as we're going to go. One, two, three. Let's put, pull that one out. And we show, oh, we're at 336. We got one extra in here. Let's pull that one out. 328. Oh, two extra. Okay, now we're back at 320. Okay, so now we got room to expand this next one out some. You actually went one too far already. So, all right. Um, next row. Except, hold on. How many of these can I shift over? Yeah, I don't have much room there. So, yeah, I definitely want to shift some of these to the other side. Let's pull that one out. Well, actually, that would probably stay. Some. Go on this this section and two more. Twenty. Three twenty. Okay, so I guess everything's pretty aligned. I, I really don't need to look at it because it will count past uh, three hundred twenty anyway. I'm not sure why I was doing that now, but uh, anyway. As long as it doesn't screw up here. So I'm going to pull out some more over here. About three there. I'll pull another one. Uh, four. Just trying to make as much room over here as possible. Now oh, we got some, a little bit on the top we can do. 272. And I think I can pull off one more row down here. So that was another four. So I think we're at 312. 304. So two more. Okay, and let's, uh, let's take out two and shift them a little bit I guess yeah, something like that all right so one more over here I found that 
it's easier sometimes if you place like your controllers first and your constructors where you want them and then build around that rather than trying to build this up and then put in a constructor later uh, or the controller later. Um, it just seems to be a little bit easier way to go about it. Things uh, stay a little more organized and, th and whatnot, especially when you're dealing with a lot of, uh, a lot of controllers at once. So where are we at now? 240. And actually those can go away. Five there. 280. Trying to keep everything contained within this particular area though. So let's get rid of that one. Put it, oh yeah. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Make sure I didn't screw that up. Okay, it's good. And I think we're still at 280, 288. And then we should be able to add in one, two, three, four there. 320. I think that, yeah, okay, so that. That should do that section here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, controllers over here on this side. Maybe that'll be what it has. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm again, I'm trying to keep this. Uh, or maybe, maybe uh, on the other side. The other side of the base, I believe, is going to need a couple furnace locations. So for right now, at least, we've got um, some of this stuff worked out, at least. Um, for interior walls, for interior pieces, um, I'm going to use uh, probably, I guess, carbon. Uh, as I can texture it, it's cheaper than steel, um, that kind of thing. So let's just uh, put in some filler stuff here for now. Um, all right. So that side is kind of set up. So the other side of the hangar, we're going to want uh, our generator room. Um CPU generator room, probably all, all the same thing. A place for an ammo box or two, uh, a shield, and a couple furnaces, plus uh, probably a, a medical bay as well, yeah, as well as armor locker and armor repair locations. So let's, uh, let's start out with the biggest parts, and that is I did want to give this uh, two furnaces and a potential to put in a full-size shield. So... Um, let's grab them. So where are the furnaces? Right there. Okay. All right. So layout. Uh, furnace, uh, due to heat levels and things, you kind of want to keep the furnace at least one uh, square block away from uh, the player as well. So I'm thinking, um, and I kind of wanted it, uh, it can be pressed right up against this wall on this side, but let's just say we come out to here and let's have a little bit more width to the hanger too. So let's go up one more block and we'll put a furnace there and another platform right on the side here. Again, I'm going to replace probably most of these blocks with something else probably controllers container extensions and things do we want a space between the two maybe kind of looks neat I don't know it's not really needed but I allow you to build some framework around there but yeah you know what now we're, we're trying to be uh, we're trying to really save on space here so let's uh, let's not waste a, a block row there so we got okay two furnace locations we could have a, a barrier wall here and still one more uh, piece coming out uh, into the hangar. It's not going to be a super, well, this is right up to the edge too. You know what? I want to push these back. I want I want this area to expand out a little bit more, a little bit more uh, width to the hangar, I think, maybe by two more blocks. Oh, that's right. We're going to do that. This isn't how I normally build either. I usually do a haul first and then and then figure all this stuff out on the inside. But this one I'm kind of doing different. I'm sort of kind of building it from the inside out, um, which I already know this is going to be a you know this 
a pretty basic structure. So um, I'm not so worried about it. It pretty much had to be a rectangle for what I was trying to do and the size I wanted it to be at. All right, so, all right, let's get in um, two more controllers, two more controllers as well. So what I'm gonna do with furnaces here is we'll put one, one space forward on that side and one space forward on this side. Okay. And we can uh, obviously redo most of these blocks below the furnaces here too, to some extent at least. So let's get rid of those. And I won't use that middle row. I'll try to save that for the other side. We'll see how it comes out. Where else you can need walls. And what does that bring you to? One, uh, not much. Okay, let's do all these two. Might as well go up another row. And how about a couple across there? And uh, 256. All right, so for now, let's just add another grouping there. 304, so two more. See how this comes out. And then we'll get the last one going. That would achieve the 8 320k storage base, which was kind of what I wanted to do anyway. I was thinking maybe it could be six, but eh, I like the idea of having a couple of these right by the furnaces anyway. Let's see where we're at 248. Okay, let's, uh, let's remove three here, put them on the other side. Get those there instead. Okay, 320 and 320. Okay, so that's all eight storage bays and we got our furnace locations now. So next, uh, right next to this, since we're gonna doing this three by three thing, um, this should be a shield location. So let's, uh, let's add those in. Let's get a shield out. This is a placeholder. Uh, probably not an advanced one. I'll just. Uh, it doesn't matter. Actually, what I put in here, it's not gonna come stock with it. I don't know if you're really gonna need a shield for a base. Um, if it's got some defenses around it too, it's probably not needed, but hey, if you got the room, might as well utilize it. All right, so let's, uh, that's our shield location. Actually, I did this in concrete, which I probably shouldn't have done since it's the floor. Same thing going on over here. I think carbon's still a little bit cheaper than con concrete build time wise, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so then we're going to have a wall on this side by the shield. It's like we actually have room for more storage, actually. All right, so um, next, let's just do some lines here. Out to the corner. And okay, so this last area of the base, this can be used for the generators and CPU blocks and the utility uh, facing stuff. So, um, or like the, the med bay basically. So what we'll do here is uh, put in a, a wall. Let's put in some kind of floor here for now. And um, yeah, let's put the med bay here and we'll have that corner for the power systems and stuff like that. So med bay, 
We got a little more room over here too, that's for sure. Uh, some boxes would be nice as well in here somewhere, but I'm sure there'll be places to put that stuff. Um, so, and there's going to be an outer wall on this side, which I'm kind of reserving for concrete. Um, yeah, maybe I should uh, have the facing of this up here for the med bay. Let's get all the medical parts out and try to place them out here a minute. So I've got that, and typically the oxygen station as well. And then one last thing, it would be deco piece and probably your shower and stuff like that. All right, so let's start here with a shower location. And let's put that right up front here. So shower. Um, okay, we'll, we'll say that we've got a wall right here. Again, I'm trying to condense this a lot too. Um, so we're gonna need to put in O2 and a bed bay. Uh, plus all the specialized equipment. So, the toilet actually probably wouldn't. I, I normally don't really consider the toilet as, as important as the shower, but you know, there's no reason not to have one. I think I can, if I do it a certain way, we can also get the toilet in here right next to the shower. So, let's dump in one of those. Okay, so we got those pieces. And I'm thinking of, oh, that's not going to work out so well, above it, at least there. Um, let's try this. So right above those locations, let's put in the two small pieces. And then on this, uh, on these over here, we can put in the two larger pieces. that there and let's just flip this upside down and we'll have a uh, ceiling above this that part right there and probably a wall here okay so pretty generic but it fits for now could be uh, modified a little bit we got a little room back over here too um, Actually, a decent amount of room back in this area. So this will be the last part of the base here. This will be the uh, energy room. Oh, actually, we got to get in a, the armor locker and repair, too. And there is going to be a block row all the way across here for the outer wall. And all right, so armor locker, armor repair, maybe even a place for a repair console, I think, might be helpful, too. So let's try to find these things and repair. Yeah, I do a lot of the type searching for these things. Um, it just saves time. It, there's a lot of things to sort through and uh, just find it a little bit easier to go this route. So, okay, um, how can we make this kind of neat? Let's, I kind of want to do a bit of a a little bit more elaborate display for this so I'm thinking what if we put the armor repair at an angle like that and then the armor locker right below it like that that's kind of a neat face facing to the uh, center section here um, all right so yeah all right and then we got this kind of area back over here for our other stuff. So what kind of other stuff are we going to want in here? Um, so I don't know if I'm going to need to go to a large generator or not, but maybe I'll just plan it out with that in there um, and maybe even give it a second, a second spot. But uh, let's say we've got, let's be on the inner wall here. Um, Well, we got one there. I'll put in two for now, but uh, this will be changed and 
Nah, I'm wasting room back over here, though. Unless there's something else I can think to put there. Now nah, let's put them here. Okay, so a couple generators. Let's get some flooring in. And we're going to need fuel. We're going to need a uh, solar capacitor and uh, oxygen. I think I'm just going to go with these medium fuel tanks, so... Um, because they unlock at level 12, and maybe it'll be capped at that. Um, or if I go with this, uh, the bigger fuel tank, that's going to push it up to unlock level 15. So, yeah. Oh, didn't need more of those. A while back, too, someone uh, asked if I would ever uh, do a build from, like, the inside out and... I've only really done like one, I think, before this, um, and that was the uh, Waypoint Compound, um, and that came out to be a box, and that's kind of why I don't do this too often, but this one was already assumed it was going to be a box, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. I don't know how many fuel tanks this thing should have either. Um, it does have you know, a decent amount of constructors, uh, plus uh, some furnaces in it so I don't know uh, some some amount isn't probably a bad thing here um, I'm just trying to utilize any space I can here let's, uh, let's do something like that for now once these rooms get uh, overhauled like each of these spaces will be all tweaked out and things may move around a little bit um, beyond that point too so this doesn't have to be final yet. So, capacitor. I don't plan on putting any additional shield parts in this space, so I think uh, that's. Yeah, I don't really see the point in that. Uh, kind of a waste of a uh, waste of potential area. All right, it doesn't really matter which way I flip that. All right, and then oh, oxygen tanks. We need them to. Um, again, I'm trying to just be optimal with space right now and not have any airtight or air leaks. And I, uh, right now I'm kind of like keeping this, this level lower here. So it all kind of goes out to that side. There'll be a covering over it, but maybe I can drop that down for some turret positions if I don't like jump up another block row with it. So that could be a good thing. Um, yeah, let's maybe just put a couple like that. There could be a hallway along the back here, um, over in this section. So you could get to everything, all your, your engineering stuff. All right, so that's, a, yeah, that's most of the main parts and everything already. That's uh, not bad. Okay, so I guess the hall now. Time to look at the hall. What can we do to the hall to give it some kind of character? Um, obviously, it's, uh, it goes out a little further that way than it is the other direction right now. Um, but the ceiling does have to be at that height there. And Oh, you know, you know what I want to address is actually a solar panel. Um, or solar panels. Let me get some of those. And what I... Okay, uh would this work out see the solar panels are really flimsy so I, I and on this base I don't want them as part of the hall there are airtight versions of the solar panels so like this one is airtight um, or some of these are and some of them aren't it's kind of randomly selected too uh, but uh, okay so we want we don't want to have the solar panels just here and be in the ceiling though so we're gonna need like a, uh, a block wall below that at least where the solar panels are but i'm trying to keep this thing as low as i can too so what i'm thinking about is now we got to have uh here let's just put out um something here for the grow lights real quick just so we know where they have to be at so i'm going to just run a row across the top here and I'll grab some of these i oh, probably should keep those out
It's weird that they sort of come stock upside down now. That's I, I didn't think they used to. Is that right? That's right. Okay. So that's where those would be. little tricky but let's see how this works out let's just uh, run a beam across here right now and uh, yeah this would be a, a solid roof piece here and then on top of that um, you know what I'm gonna use the airtight ones anyway but let's uh, let's see how many we can fit across here oh wait that's going to center I didn't want to didn't want it to go to center because I want to leave that open for a repair bay and we just got to make sure that we have uh, clearance for all this and be able to seal underneath the solar panels I think that will still work hopefully okay so got three there let's uh, do the same thing on the other side oops oh no they need to come back one to here Three on that side. It'd be really neat if this fit evenly, but I don't probably won't. Well, pretty close. Okay, I think that is. Since these are going to be visible from the outside, I'm trying to make these uh, displayed nicely too. And um, yeah, I can't really do a nice center point though, can I? Well, this would be a nice way to get a lot of solar panels onto the base. And I, I do believe with bases, um, if you're going to place solar panels somewhere on the base, uh, just as a generic placement location, I think straight up is your best angle to get the most uh, amount of sunlight. Unless, you know, if you're, if you're way on one of the, uh, the poles or something and the sun only comes from one direction, maybe not. But uh, for the most part, I think just straight up like this is uh, the best location for these things that is something I do got to watch so in vanilla we are limited to 15 solar panels and I think what's here already is uh, let's see six and then we got uh, what 14 on there right now which actually still works for vanilla I did want to put more solar panels on here, but I don't know. All right, so that part is okay now, too. Um, I don't like that this isn't particularly uh, centered in the creation where the solar panel divide is, but I think that can work. So now for repair bay, um, I'm actually looking at doing is offering the player two locations for a repair bay one up here and i'm gonna just put in a let's put in one of these as a placeholder for now oh and i probably ought to put in more solar capacitors too so yeah okay so we could have a repair bay right there now with defense um something i don't want to happen is i want to i want to have good uh like probably eight turrets around the outside so the base to protect it um but i don't want the turrets to go higher than where the landing pad is up here otherwise that could be disruptive if you're trying to get a larger cv on here to repair it um and then uh why i want this optional for the player is it would be difficult uh, more difficult to get an hv on top of this um, and if you could have the repair bay inside the base, then that would work out better for other creations. But you, know, you can move it around, on, I guess, on what you're going to do. I'd put in two if I could, but the game doesn't allow for it. Not sure why that is either. <laughs> There's just some artificial limitations that were put in place that I don't quite understand why, why, uh, why it makes any sense to do that that way. Repair bay is one of those things that kind of uh, hits that. And also the vanilla solar panel count. It should be uh, matching that of Reforged Eden, I would say. 
All right, so I think that's uh, that's uh, everything on the interior space here. Uh, we got eight three twenties. We've got oh wait, I, one thing I just want to make sure I did on this uh, particular video. Uh, obviously, I haven't been going for any looks here um, on this right now, but that that'll come on the next video I think. But what I really wanted to do is just get the the layout down, get like everything organized, so you know exactly what needs to be done with the hall. Since this is kind of reverse building, at least for me, I just don't normally do this kind of thing like this. But yeah, one uh, one capacitor is uh, probably a little little light too. But this room is going to have to be redone anyway in here. Um, but I just want to make sure that it's got all the parts. We don't need a gravity generator. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. I'm not, I'm not concerned about offline protection either. Um, you know what we're missing? We're missing um, cooking, a little cooking section here. Um, obviously, they'll probably try to uh, put some fridges or stuff up there, but you know, there's this little outcove right over here that could actually work out pretty good for that kind of thing. Oh, and an ATM. That's a unique piece for a base, too, that I like to put in the base. So let's get one of those, and let's get a uh, food processor and a fridge. All right, so a little, little nice little station here. Um, I might have this all the way up front. Nah, we got, we got that extra block there. We'll try to make that work. And let's put in some kind of fridge. Again, as all the block work and the texturing and everything takes place, a lot of the stuff will probably change. Um, yeah, ATM. Uh, it's going to be a wall right there. Uh, okay. Oh, last thing you know, I, what I did not put in yet is uh, boxes. I'm having a few boxes in here, too. But uh, that might actually end up like something like up above here a well hmm. not sure yet It'd be kind of convenient oh you know where they well you know if I grab a airtight model um, that one's airtight most of these aren't though. The one I like to use the most, probably this one, is not airtight, unfortunately. That one is. Yeah, it's kind of random with what's airtight and what's not airtight here too. But what if we had some kind of interesting little cargo section kind of aligned to the constructors as the floor? Like that. So then we got six boxes in there too. Um, and they're airtight, and this is the bottom of the base, so it doesn't need to be protected. In fact, that doesn't need to be that. Neither does that one. Um, put in some of this stuff here. And yeah, for the most part, you know. Okay, so so part two of this uh, this video will be uh, just uh, really trying to do up the. Uh, the looks and uh, build out the block work and the rest of the hall. Obviously, it's still a, a rectangle, but, you know, I'll try to make it as pretty as possible. Oh, yeah, and uh, also figuring out the uh, the turret locations um, to get those right and at the right height and things like that. So that'll be part of the next video. So I'll try to keep these short. Um, I don't think this is going to be a super long build or anything like that, um, especially, you know, uh, the groundwork's already in place. So... Uh, the rest of it's going to be a little bit easier than what was going on here. And this wasn't all that hard, at least looking at it this way. Um, I don't care about the CPU right now either. Um, didn't even look at it. But, uh, again, I'll have to figure out what parts come in stock in it, what parts will be added in uh, later um, just to keep the cost down. Probably unlock level 12, I'm guessing, because I used a, a fuel tank that requires that. Um, but that might be the highest level part in here stock. 
Um, and then we'll take a look at what, what parts use what resources and try to keep that to a minimal as well on anything that's a little more rare, um, things like that. But yeah, I think this would have like everything. This is kind of in the middle, so you could bring in your vehicles and uh, you could, uh, if you had the repair bay in here, you could fix that. You could do your work, you could do your farming. Oh, elevators. Oh, one, one last thing. Okay, last, last thing on the video. I forgot about the elevators. That's going to be um, a little bit important here, too. And they were supposed to go in. Oh, no, I screwed up. Well, you know what? Let's do it different. We've got, we've got some room in the middle this time. That could be sort of interesting. Oh, that ain't going to work very good, though. Gosh darn it. Elevators. Oh, almost everything was in place except for the elevators. Um, tell you what, I'll address that on the next video, too. I think maybe it might have to be stretched out a little bit. I really kind of wanted to get an elevator on this, this wall um, in two locations, like one on the, on the forward part and one on the back part of the base. And I got to make sure all this stuff in the middle kind of fits in between there. Um, and it might be able to, if I were to get this chunk out of here, shift this over a block, I think it would work out. So I'll do that on the next video. Anyway, you guys all have a great day. Um, and uh, let me know. Let me know any thoughts or something I'm not thinking about or, or some other feature you'd like to see the, see the base have. Uh, all right. Adios.